Good morning. It'll be another day of blustery showers and one or two quite lively downpours, but hopefully on balance fewer than we had yesterday. So more detail coming up. Well, let's check in with the weather now and we can ask Helen Willits what's going on. Any improvement on all the rain we've seen recently, Helen? Rachel, good morning. It's another blustery, showery day ahead today. Plenty more rainbows, plenty more shower clouds in parts of Germany. So although temperatures are just going to drop a couple of degrees, we still have red warnings out and we've still got more heat to come into next week as well. Here in the UK, though, it's low pressure. Monday, but Tuesday brings more low pressures and therefore further rain. We, but... might, we might moan about it, but there are people in Europe who'd be very grateful for a bit of the rain and the uh, cooler temperatures we're having. Um, Helen, thank you very much. Pleasure. Back down on Earth with Helen. What's happening? I was going to say some parts of the United States as well, Rachel, and current heat wave conditions. For 15 days, temperatures have been in excess of 47 degrees in parts of Arizona, but here in the UK. It is a rather unsettled picture. It is a pretty start across Highland Scotland this morning, but actually there's light rain and drizzle around close to the area of low pressure, especially when those showers come along. But it does look as if on the whole there'll be fewer than yesterday. But you can see clusters across northern England and Wales this morning, certainly close to the low pressure across Scotland, the north and west July rainfall right across the UK already. Good news for some, of course. But again, we have got more rain to come then on Tuesday. Rachel and Ben. You've got, a, you've got a gull there behind you as well, Helen. I have, I have. Actually, I was admiring the clouds on this particular photograph that's come in from our weather watcher in Edinburgh this morning. Thank you for that lovely start to the day. It isn't for all. We've got some showers around at the moment. But those showers along the spells of rain never too far away through the week ahead and into next weekend. Ben and Rachel. Oh. Yeah, Fairly I mean, grim picture. we might complain, <laughs> Helen, but I mean, there are people across Europe who would be glad of some yeah. of those temperatures. Good morning. It'll be another day of blustery showers and one or two quite lively downpours, but hopefully on balance fewer than we had yesterday. So more detail coming up. It is, Rachel. Yet yeah, we continue unsettled here in the UK, but across southern Europe, these were the temperatures yesterday. That heat stretched right the way up into Germany. 39 degrees Celsius here, 44 across in Turkey. Numerous red warnings out, as we've heard. And so through Tuesday, we get the next low pressure moving in. It doesn't look as potent as this weekend's, but it will bring more rain. And bear in mind already, all parts of the UK have had over their average rainfall so far this July, or showery pictures set to continue for much of the coming week. Rachel and Ben. All right, Helen, thanks very much. We'll check in with you a little later. Thank you. Hot, hot weather in southern Europe, but back here feels almost autumnal, doesn't it? Absolutely. What a contrast, Rachel, Ben. Good morning to you. Chalk and cheese, really. It's because we've had this unusually deep area of low pressure with us, but it doesn't look as if the thunderstorms will be as widespread as yesterday or indeed the showers as frequent. It does look as if we might just have a window of drier weather tomorrow for many with this ridge of high pressure coming in. But again, I can't promise it's going to be dry everywhere. There'll still be showers around through the day on Monday. Uh, so a fairly decent summer day if that's what you're looking for. But there is more rain on the way for this week, Rachel and Ben, and in places it really is much needed rainfall as well.